So if you can tell, yes, I'm at the airport. Today is a travel day for me. I get to travel to Darmstadt, Germany for business and I am so pumped. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. I just love flying so much. The airport, watching planes, that feeling that you get when you sink in your seat as the wheels lift off the ground, everything about it just gets me going. And it's been that way ever since I was a kid. Now, I've been around aviation my whole life, and I still, to this day, feel like a kid every time I get to the airport. Oh man, all the little Steve airport feels. So, I work for a major aerospace company, and part of my job is to meet with the international community and help implement and develop data standards. Now, I won't bore you with data standards because that's not the point of this video, but first, I get to fly business class. You guys gotta check this out. I'm out here. So when you're traveling, you wanna make sure you bring enough oils that's gonna support you throughout the day. Now, I brought quite a few oils, not, not as much as I thought I did, but when I was packing them, it, it seemed like a lot. So I've got some Digize. You never know how your stomach is gonna handle any of the foreign food. So Digize is gonna help kind of Keep your gut in check. Uh, I've got some lemon because Germany doesn't have any tap water. So a lot of their water is bottled and some of the bottles of water taste flat. It just tastes weird. So let's spice it up a bit. Brought some thieves so I can diffuse in my room. I'm 10,000 miles away from home and nobody likes getting sick on a trip. That's not fun. Emu Power. I really like this one because it smells like a Christmas forest. Kind of makes me feel a little, uh, little more closer to home and it's gonna help support my immune system. I just wanna have a backup on hand. Brought some Raven Sara. I like to diffuse this in my fume pipe, especially if I'm getting uh, a little congested. It kind of helps break up the mucus a little bit. Again, it's another one of those little oils that can provide a great backup. And last but never least, I've got some Shoe Tran. I carry this in my pocket everywhere I go back in the States. I'm gonna carry it everywhere I go here in Germany. Why not? Okay, so let's get down to how to pack these. So I have a little travel case that I got off Amazon for maybe like 10 bucks, right? It carries all of the oils that I just showed you here. I've got some other stuff too that I packed away. Um, I have my diffuser next to my bed, diffusing some of these oils, especially after a long, hard day of work. So I brought 14 packets of Ningxia, 14 packets of the master formula, put all of that inside a gallon freezer bag, zipped it up, sucked out all the air, put that in another gallon freezer bag, sucked it all there, layered it between a couple layers of clothes, and I was good to go. I was actually kind of worried that it was gonna explode while being in the airplane for an almost 6,000 mile trip, but it did all right. I was actually really surprised. So when you're traveling with oils, you really don't want them to explode. Now, one of the great tips that I learned on how to keep either essential oils or any other kind of liquid from exploding is to just get rid of all the air. When you're at 35,000 feet, the air is less dense. So the air that is within your containers is gonna want to expand. There's no more outside pressure of the air keeping it in check. So when you get up to 35,000 feet, the air pressure around all your containers drops from about 14 pounds per square inch down at sea level to about four and a half pounds up at 35,000 feet. So there's not a whole lot of air pressure keeping everything the same. You have higher pressure air inside your containers. You have low pressure air outside your containers. That air inside is gonna want to expand. So if you get a bottle that tips upside down, that air has nowhere to go but just straight out the nozzle. So no flip tops, get a nice screw on lid, get all the air out, maybe double bag it in some some gallon freezer bags and I think you're gonna be good to go. But enough of talking about all these oils in this stuffy hotel room, let's get out and enjoy Frankfurt and Darmstadt a little bit.